Hey, what's up? Do you remember our video about BMAX laptops? We posted it about 4 months ago. I was very impressed by BMAX Y13 laptop, so I decided to buy it and make a full review. If you don't remember about BMAX Y13, then let me tell you about its main features and then move on to unboxing and detailed review. BMAX Y13 is a 13.3-inch Ultrabook with a 360 degrees hinge, touchscreen, keyboard backlit, Intel Gemini Lake, and 4120 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD memory. The price of this laptop is about $350. It looks like a very good deal, don't you think so? At the end of the video, I will tell you if you should buy this laptop. Let's get started! The laptop comes in a cardboard box. There is a brand logo and name on the front side. When you open the box, you will find another two boxes. The first one has a power supply with different adapters. In the second box, there is a laptop itself. You can find a user manual in different languages, including English. That's all. Now let's take a close look at the laptop. BMAX Y13 is Ultrabook because it has 13.3-inch display and a thin body. The dimensions are 405 by 305 mm. The thickness is only 14.7 mm. BMAX Y13 is also lightweight, only 1.2 kg. That's very good, because you can carry the laptop anywhere – to the office, school, college, etc. It looks like the laptop has full metal body. However, the lid and keyboard are made of plastic. Only the bottom is made of metal for better heat conduction. One of the main features of a BMAX Y13 is a 360 degrees hinge. You can rotate the display at 360 degrees and use it in different positions – laptop, tablet, stand, tent, etc. The hinge looks reliable, and I don't think it will break anytime soon. Of course, to use a device in tablet mode, the display must be touch-sensitive, and it really is. But we will talk about the display a little later. At the bottom, there are four rubber feet and compartment to change SSD memory. As you can see, there are no cooling grills, because the laptop is fanless. On the left side, you can find USB Type-C and DC port. On the right side, there is 3.5mm audio jack, the second USB Type-C port, microSD card slot, and power button. Now let's take a look at the keyboard. By the way, did you notice that the speaker is above the keyboard? I think it is a great solution. Later we will check out the sound quality. As you can see, the keyboard takes up all the space. The keys are pretty big, and they are easy and comfortable to press. Also the keyboard has a backlight, so you can type in the dark room. The touchpad is really big. However, I don't think you will use it often, because the screen is touch-sensitive. Believe me, the touch screen is very cool and comfortable. Ok, it's time to talk about display. As I already said, the diagonal is 13.3 inches. The resolution is Full HD, 1920 by 1080 pixels. This is IPS LCD panel. As you can see, the colors are very good. The viewing angles are wide. The maximum brightness is 380 lux. The display is touch-sensitive, and it supports 10 touches at the same time. That's very good. Ok, I think we can move on to hardware. VMAX Y13 is a budget laptop, but it has very good hardware, such as Intel Gemini Lake and 4120 processor, Intel UHD graphics, 600 graphics, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and 256 gigs of SSD. By the way, the laptop runs on Windows 10. It is a familiar operating system, so I don't think we should stop there. Let's start the performance test. I found a picture that BMAX Y13 boosts in 8 seconds. It is really fast, but I want to check it out. I am going to press the power button and see how long the laptop will boot up. As you can see, it takes 14 seconds. It is a little more than the manufacturer promised, but still fast enough for a budget laptop. As you know, the boot-up speed depends on storage. BMAX Y13 has SSD memory, so it boots up quickly. However, let's check the internal memory speed. 
the speed is good, but not impressive. By the way, you can use SSD memory up to 2TB. Now I want to test the Wi-Fi speed. I have a 100 megabits per second internet speed. Speed test shows the download speed 18 megabits per second and upload speed 20 megabits per second. The next benchmark is called 3D Mark. As you can see, BMAX Y13 has 10013 overall score. It is like an office computer. The laptop has 394 points in single core test and 901 points in multi core test of Hikbench 5. The OpenGL score is 652. Cinebench R20 shows these results 379 PTS. The last benchmark is called Performance Test 9.0. You can see Pass Mark, CPU Mark. 2D mark, 3D mark, memory mark, and a disk mark. Now let's play a few games. I understand that this is a budget laptop, so I will not run the heaviest games. BMAX Y13 is equipped with 38 watt hour battery. This is an ultra book, so you should not expect a long battery life. However, you will get about 7-8 hours of battery life with average use, and even 10 hours of video watching with a lower screen brightness. Finally, let's check the sound quality from built-in speaker. The sound is poor to me. It is flat, and there are almost no basses. Also, the sound is not very loud, about 62 dB. Ok, I'm ready to make a conclusion about BMAX Y13. The main problem that I found in this laptop is speaker. The sound quality is bad. Everything else, it's a very good laptop. BMAX Y13 is a compact and thin ultrabook with 360 degrees hinge, touchscreen, 13.3 inch Full HD display, backlight keyboard, good performance and battery life. The most important thing for me is the price. BMAX Y13 costs only $350. I think it is a very good offer. What do you think about this laptop? Would you buy it? Write in comments below. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.